There we go. What do you get? Looks big. Hey guys, it is, oh, 9, 30, 10 o'clock the night before. I'm gonna meet up with my buddy Matt and the Yak Angler. I'm gonna hit a ball for once. It's been 100 the last couple days. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 75 to 80. Uh, Matt and I are gonna hit the river. I got my power pole, a tackle box, two rods. I got my remote this time. It's dark. So I'm preloaded. I'm gonna wake up early and let's check in with Matt here shortly. Hello. Hey, do you see the weather down there? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's definitely, like, it's definitely gonna get hit with rain around like noon. So I'm thinking our best bet is probably just gonna be launch at the bridge and kind of fish around that area. See what happens from there? Yeah, I and mean, then we can go down a little ways and it's not a terrible paddle. I mean, we can go down to like pretty much the second bridge and it's not a terrible paddle back. And usually somewhere in that area is kind of where the muskie are hanging out. Yeah, I'm gonna check things out down there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll work upstream toward the dam, too. They, they may very well be up there. Yeah. Because um, I did crank open the dam a little bit yesterday, where it's up to, like, 25.8 feet or something, though. So, I mean, that might be high enough to uh, get well, something moving up. Get some fresh water moving through there anyway, or, you know, something, some new type stuff. All right, guys, we, uh, we're getting close. And really, what we should have done is gone east today instead of west. Well, I don't know if you see that in the horizon. We got rain coming our way. We knew this going into it, but Matt is convinced that we're gonna hit the peak time and they're gonna be aggressive before the rain hits. And I'm always the optimist of like, well, why not, let's just try it. So we're going to uh, stick pretty close to the launch. If we get rained on, we'll just paddle back, hopefully, and not get soaked. Matt's got a change of clothes. I don't, so we're gonna wing it. And uh, he, if it does rain, he'll probably be done for the day. I might hang around the area and see if the rain passes and try a few new spots I haven't fished before. So right now, we're on adventure. There's Matt. We're gonna kind of hurry to do this because we got rain moving in and we just want to catch some fish. I'll wait for him down here in the water. Of course, Matt's got long everything on and I got shorts. I'm not smart. Never it. Oh, damn, you're bugging me. Holy cows. I got like eight layers of bug screen on. Almost went in the water to get away from him. Get my net up here. Oh, water. Ah, get out of here. You're bugging me. It does. I'd be really upset if I don't throw top water in conditions like this. Pretty good flow coming out, isn't there? Pretty good flow coming out. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what though. That looks like a smallie. It is. Smallie. Yep. Oh, yeah. We were out here a couple of days ago and all the ones that we were catching, Breakfast. Not crazy. I don't know if your anchor stick is down all the way. I think you're still moving. Oh, I am moving. Just to let you know. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm a whopper too, huh? Yeah, he crushed it pretty well. Okay. Right up by shore. Oh, and the finger. Okay. 
not a giant, but we got on the board. It might be the only, that's the only one up there. He's, my God, it's just, I don't know. I gotta get rid of it. It's cool outside. The water is really warm. And we potentially got a rainstorm moving in. So I am all kind of discombobulated here. I got something. Doesn't feel very big though. On rocks, that's hard on a power pole. We got here. Little Smalley, boy, you were an ambitious buddy. Just a little dink. I've missed two and I've caught two. One might have been, aha, two of them might have been a pike. We're in a pretty good spot, so I'm just gonna anchor here for a while and see if I can't pick something else out of here. Since the power pole's already down. Here's some rumbling in the background. We've gotten a little bit of rain already. That's okay. You need something a little bit bigger. Pretty close in the area where I've caught my biggest musky. Brady's caught a musky. We've seen fish over. I've caught pike over here. Let's see what happens. I really like the power pole a little bit farther in. There we go. Another smallie. When we say small, boy, when we say smallie, uh, these aren't big. Matt was saying they caught a bunch about five inches. That's probably what I'm getting into. Just a little guy. They're mean though. That was a musky. That was a musky. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And the fact I missed him. And one went airborne, he just missed it completely. Yeah. I had something else kind of big in front of the launch. Yeah, it's mostly weedy. Yeah. Nothing over here. But like all up in there, I, I chased one out of the weeds with the jig. He followed it for like 15 feet, but wouldn't take. I got two little smallies kind of in the dam area. I'm gonna go up to the truck and see if I can take a look at the radar. I don't know that this looks that bad, but. Well, I don't, guess, I don't know if you guys can see that down there, but here comes a mat. I'm already in the truck, it's raining. He's got a rain suit on. I'll catch him up to the ramp here, to the launch. There he is. How bad do I want to get out and help him? All right, enough watching Matt. I better figure things out here. Let up, I hit a... Uh... I actually found a museum in town and a little thrift store. Just looked around, uh, chased Matt out of here so he's done for the day, but I'm gonna hit the dam here and I might actually float another stretch of the river by myself. So let's check out the dam, see if I can't pick something up real quick and we'll keep going. Popular spot of all the garbage here. So if you're ever down here fishing, just pick your crap up. There's a lure over there wrapped up. I'm sure these fish have seen every lure in the book, but We'll try the whopper plopper out. I thought I'd be by myself, but one guy is down there. That's, what, that's all right. That's all right. I get the net handy just in case.
There we go. What do you get? Looks big. Oh, that's big. That's a musky. Oh, that's a big. That's big. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. <sighs> Loosen my drag a little bit, I think I almost snapped everything. I'm not gonna put my power pole down because I don't know about my drag. We're gonna follow this guy just a little bit. Oh my gosh. There's nothing to run into. The river's not moving that fast, but look at the size of this fish. I'm so glad I got a single hook on. Holy moly. Adrenaline is spiked. I almost wondered for a minute if it was worth going this way. It has been dead, but it takes one. Holy cow, it's big fish. Big fish. Big, big fish. Big fish. I got the wrong rod. I got my bass rod. I didn't expect to actually catch any pike and muskie in the stretch. He's coming up underneath me. Oh yeah, that's big. I almost thought I snagged a carp, really, because I saw a bunch of big carp earlier. I'm actually shaking. I don't know. He's not going to come in at an angle. It's going to be very nice here for a while. He bumped my kayak. He's big. I wish I had a bigger net. I almost didn't even take this net with. I didn't, like, seriously didn't think I was gonna catch anything like this. <sighs> He's rolled in my line. I don't like that either. Yeah, he sees my net. He's hooked on the left and my line's going under the right. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> Except he's big and I have a kayak and I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I got him hooked perfectly, other than the fact he's under the line. Yeah, he's scared of the net yet. I don't really know what to do. Oh. Let's play him out this around the bow. I'm glad he didn't snap my, my rod or my line when it was too tight. That's a big fish. Yeah, we're gonna have a hell of a time getting him. That's why we come out here, right? Figure things out. I can't really do much. He's just twirling me around. I I can't really do anything unless he gives me an angle with the net. Oh boy. I grabbed his gill plate, but I didn't quite get it. Tell me that's not a fish. He likes that chatterbait. Let's try this again. Nope. I wish he'd just let me grab him by the fin or by the... He's gotta be getting tired. 
That's a hog of a fish. If he comes out of range, whatever, but we'll see. I hope. I'll try to keep my GoPro centered on him best I can. But you guys can tell I have my hands full, full of musky right now. I need you on the other side, bud. Oh. Out here smallmouth fishing, big old musk a lunge. I can smell them. It smells spiky. Oh, so close. Wonder if I need a shower when I get home. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That's a big fish. How, how, dude, you just, you gotta let me grab you and I don't know how that's gonna happen. <laughs> if you guys didn't hear that, that is a big heavy fish slamming my kayak. I'm really close, I just need to, uh, not get his teeth in my hand. Slowly back him up. He's running out of gas, so. Not yet, not, not, not yet. Dude. I'm so close. They're gonna push me to shore. And that side's got trees. Oh my God. Can't. I'm soaked, already just soaked. He's big down here. Oh, I can't quite squeeze him. It's one of those, you gotta commit, and he's so big that I don't know if I can grab him this way. Oh. This is the biggest fish I ever caught, musky wise. Okay, I'm getting close on that. Oh my gosh, let me just point you up, dude. I'm just completely soaked. I get my paddle out of the way. That helped. He's chomping. Honestly, if he gets off right now, I'm not gonna be super mad. Let's just loosen the drag on this so my rod doesn't end up breaking. Oh, son of a biz match. I'm, I'm like, I'm soaked. There's no two ways about it. I'm actually just soaked. I got him now. That was my players. Okay. Oh, holy shnikes. That is a fish. We're gonna let him in. I don't know where our players is. And I fought him a while. I got a picture of him. I'm, I didn't get a picture of him. He's over the side and I don't know if I got an angle, but you guys saw me lift him up. I fought him for a while and I thought, you know, let's just get him out of the way. I think I'm sitting in like three inches of water because he splashed so many times over the side. There's the keys. 
hot mess. Take this out. Keys. Oh, shaking. I don't know where my players are. Thank God he was lip hooked the way he thrashed. Take this out. I, I really, I don't know where my players are. How ugly would that be? All right, I'm gonna change batteries. I have no way of drying off my rear end, so I have to be super impressed. I can't wait to see the footage because that is gonna be awesome.